Hey, the stage is coming. Everybody out to meet the stage. Billy Langtree, here she comes. There's the stage. Welcome to our town, Miss Lily Langtree. Welcome to the garden spot of the West. All right, all right, let me through, boys. Press wishes to interview Miss Langtree. Let me through now. Uh, Miss Langtree? What is it? Boy. Ma'am, I'm Bob Masterson, local reporter for the Tombstone Epitaph. We'd uh, certainly appreciate a statement from you. What sort of statement would you want? Well, ma'am, uh, Miss Langtree, you undoubtedly know about our plan for the big celebration in your honor this afternoon. Hmm. Celebration, huh? I just love to uh, celebrate. <laughs> well, uh, Thank you, ma'am. And if I can get a statement from you, how you coming from the East feel about our great West. You want my honest opinion of the West? Why, certainly, ma'am. Well, if you want the truth, East is East and West is West. And the wrong one I have chosen. Let's go where you keep on wearing those frills and flowers and buttons and bows. Rings and things and buttons and bows. Can I quote you, Miss Langtree? You sure can. Don't bury me in this ferry. Take me where the seamen grow. Let's move down to some big town where they love a gal by the cut of her clothes. And I'll stand out in buttons and bows. I know what you mean, ma'am. You must. I love you in buckskin, a skirt that you have spun. But I'll love you longer, stronger, where your friends don't tow the gun. My bones denounce the buckboard bounce and the cactus hurts my toes. Let the moose for girls keep using those silks and satins and linen that shows. And you're all mine in buttons and bows. Hear me, Eastern trimming, where women are women in high silk hose and peekaboo clothes. French perfume that rocks the room, and I'm all yours. In what? In buttons and bows. In buttons and bows. Oh, that was wonderful. That sure was fine, Miss Langtree. Yes, ma'am. You're not so bad yourself. You see what I mean about the beautiful actress? Oh, boy, if I was only born 75 years sooner... There's no reason you couldn't impress Miss Langtree now if you wanted to. Well, yeah, but that young guy picking up her bags might be my great-granddaddy. I think your competition is that other young fellow over there. Oh. But it's time for the celebration. Hey, that's uh, right. Uh, yeah. Well, who's going to escort Miss Langtree over to the celebration? Well, she well, can well, ride well, double saddle with me. Well, I'd sure be happy to take you out my buckboard, ma'am. Gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> young man, you with the nice long legs. What do you suggest? You talking to me? Well, ma'am, I can borrow a surrey. Comfortable? Mighty. Chicks and ducks and geese better scurry when I take you out in the surrey. When you take me out in the surrey with a fringe on top. Well, watch that fringe and see how it flutters when you drive those high step strutters. Nosey pokes her peek through the shutters and their eyes will pop. The wind will whistle as we rattle along. The calmer in the clover, the river will ripple out a whispered song. And whisper it over and over. Don't you wish you'd go on forever? Don't you wish you'd go on forever? Don't you wish you'd go on forever and you never? 
thought there were pretty women 75 years ago. I just never stopped to think of it. Uh, do you plan to do anything about her? <laughs> well, what, what can I do? You'll get your chance. You, you mean just a chance? Gentlemen, a gentleman, in honor of your kind celebration, I am willing to offer a small prize. Ah. I'm willing to offer a small prize, a daguerreotype picture. Ah. Yes, a daguerreotype picture of me. <laughs> to anyone who rides that wild black stallion. Ma'am, nobody has ever ridden that stallion. Why, it's worth a man's neck even to get near him. Worst critter in the West, ma'am. Let me through, boys. Well, who's that talking? Hey, uh, who's that stranger? Plum foolish stranger. Yeah, looks like might be a Easterner. It's only a horse. <laughs> Got a kind of a mean eye. Sure has. Uh, come on, boys. Give me a boost. Okay, here we are. Up we go. Ah, uh, uh, steady, Whirlaway. Steady. Hold on to him, boy. Hey, with it. Oh. Oh, look out. Oh. What happened? You fell off. Oh. Nice try. Too bad. Oh, wait a minute. I can ride that horse. Uh, would you care for a pair of Cloud Nine spurs? I sure would. What are Cloud Nine spurs? A special type, Miss Langtry. They jingle a little. Here you are, my friend. Oh, thanks. Now, lead me to that horse. Right. Okay, right. fellas. Here you go. Up we go. <sighs> I won. Now, about that picture of you. I'll keep my promise. Here's the daguerreotype. And uh, something more. Yeah? A man who rides like that deserves a kiss. Oh. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Hey, a storm's coming up. Looks like a bad one. Better get back to town, folks. Yeah, we sure have. Blowing up hard from the southwest. Let's go. Are you wet? How did they learn to kiss like that 75 years ago? Oh, uh, they discovered it before that. Hey, uh, move back a little. The rain's blowing in this doorway. Yeah, okay. That Langtree. Oh. Oh, say, I don't want to get this daguerreotype wet. 
The rain is diminishing. Yeah, that was quite a storm. They blow up quickly in this country. Yeah, it's like a cloudburst. It stopped. Shall we go on? Yeah. Hey, look. Look. It's not wet. There's dust blowing in the streets. And the town. It's beginning to age. Not all the strange things happen on cloud nine. That, that sign over there. I can't read it anymore. Wait a minute. There's a guy sitting in that doorway. Or is it just a shadow? Depends on your point of view. An old cowpoke went riding out one dark and windy day. Upon a ridge he rested as he went along his way. When all at once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw a plowing through the ragged sky and up a cloudy draw. Give me a hay. Back on cloud nine. What do you mean, back on cloud nine? Well, a moment ago, we were in that ghost town. Are you sure you know where we were? Well, you told me. Oh, yeah. You told me. Perhaps we were never off cloud nine. But I kissed Lily Langtree. Mm -hmm. I hurt my back falling off of that horse and... Funny, it doesn't hurt anymore. Surprise. It's hard to believe. Now, wait a minute. Just a second. Sorry, I... friend. Very sorry. But time's up for now. You know, I could have sworn that I kissed... <laughs> That's cloud nine. That's a, a buck fifty-five, you owe me. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Got some change here. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> who's the dame? What dame? The the one in the little picture. That old-fashioned photograph. What? Yeah, the one you just pulled out of your pocket. Oh. Oh. Hey. You know what this is, Mac? That's what I'm asking. This ain't a photograph. It's a daguerreotype. Yeah? <laughs> What's that? The program was classified.